to another edition of Wrecking Ball Reviews. And here is the subject of today's review. The Time Traveler's Wife, starring Eric Bana and Rachel McAdams, based on the best-selling novel that I've never heard of. Now, as you might have guessed from the title and any trailers you've seen, Eric Bana is a time traveler, Rachel McAdams is his wife. And naturally, there's some conflict. There's some wishy-washy crying, oh, sadness, oh, heartbreak. And it puts strain on their relationship and they struggle through life as Eric Bana is, cannot control where or when he time travels. Eh, so it adds conflict to the movie. Now, I feel like The Time Traveler's Wife is aiming for similar themes as to The Curious Case of Benjamin Button and The Lake House. It's about love and time conflicting. Now, like The Lake House, The Time Traveler's Wife is confusing confusing at some points enough to give you a headache and very unsatisfying. Now, unlike The Curious Case of Benjamin Button, the acting is terrible. Wishy-washy, crying, heartbroken scenes that really don't connect with the viewers. And by the end of The Time Traveler's Wife, you don't feel like anything's been accomplished. No real goal has been surmounted. The characters haven't developed in any noticeable way. And really, the time watching the movie was only passed by the time-traveling paradoxes and confusion. And by the end, when all that confusion and paradox has been cleared, it completely bears a uh, part of a movie. The Time Traveler's Wife gives us a boring story, lousy acting, and a terrible, terrible plot. I am giving it the rating of one out of three stars. Well, thanks for watching today's episode of Wrecking Ball Reviews. Keep it real. See you later.